Hi. If this sounds like a bit of a rant, it's because it is. I am sick and tired of hearing people say, oh, we've got this employee resilience thing covered. We did a workshop six months ago. Oh, we've given them an app. Whoopie do. There is not an app alone or a workshop alone that's going to create you a workforce that's resilient in the face of constant and uncertain, unprecedented change. Yes, there's some great apps out there. Yes, there's some great organisations doing corporate workshops, but alone they're not going to do it because you need leadership commitment and leadership action. The first thing we need to do is remove the stigma of mental health in the workplace. Giving me an app is not going to do that. Running a workshop twice a year is not going to do that. We remove the stigma, stigma of mental health in the workplace by talking to it, bringing it out in the open. This means leaders talk to their teams, leaders share their stresses and anxieties, leaders share their setbacks and, and their worries and concerns. And when they do it, other people will do it too. And it's about having the conversations that, yes, I'm stressed out. Yes, I'm anxious. Yes, I have, you know, mental health issues at the moment due to the, the pressure I'm under, whatever it might be, but we need to talk about it. We've got organisations who very proudly say, you know, we've got mental health first aid officers in our organisation. Great, that's a great initiative. But if there's a stigma associated with mental health, people will not reach out to that mental health first aid officer. They will not reach out to their managers and the leaders. Research has shown that half of the Australian workforce and half of the workforce in the US will not reach out and talk about mental health in the workplace. So any app, any workshop, any initiative that you invest in, you're wasting your money unless you remove the stigma. Talk to you tomorrow.